Paying attention now to how crowds in a pro-British area of Belfast set vehicles on fire and attacked police personnel with stones. This is the latest incident in a series of nightly outbreaks of violence that began last week. The violence comes amid growing frustration over the Brexit fallout. Several people in the pro-British unionist community are angry about the new trade barriers between Northern Ireland and the rest of the United Kingdom that are the result of Brexit. The police service of Northern Ireland has said that some of the violence was influenced by criminal elements who helped to orchestrate the attacks. The violence took place near the Shankill Road in West Belfast near a so-called peace wall that divides the community from the Irish nationalist stronghold of the Falls Road where uh, youths groups uh, had also uh, gathered. The walls and fences were built between the two communities to prevent clashes during three decades of sectarian violence in Northern Ireland that largely ended with a 1998 peace deal. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has expressed deep concern over the violence which has injured dozens of police officers in recent days as protesters burned cars and hurled petrol bombs, bombs at the police personnel. Vehicles have been set on fire and police personnel have been attacked. This is the latest in a series of nightly outbreaks of violence that began last week. The situation now spiraling out of control. Several people in the pro-British unionist community have expressed their frustration over the new trade barriers between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK. All of this is the impact of Brexit that we've been closely monitoring. The police service of Northern Ireland, meanwhile, saying that some of the violence was influenced by criminal elements who, uh, as per reports, helped to orchestrate the attacks. This violence took place near the Shankill Road in West Belfast. I'll tell you more about the situation uh, and the location of uh, this incident. This is so-called uh, peace wall, near the so-called peace wall that divides the community from the Irish nationalist stronghold of the Falls Road, where these uh, groups had gathered. These walls and fences were built between the two communities to prevent clashes during three decades of sectarian violence. Meanwhile, uh, the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has also expressed deep concern over the violence. Let's get in further details now from our correspondent, Laura mackin Isherwood, joining us uh, from London. Uh, if you can explain to us what the situation is looking like at this point, what are the authorities saying? Well, obviously, there's been an increase in the violence in Northern Ireland over the last few days. Over the Easter break last weekend, uh, police reported uh, an increase in a kind of tension in some areas of Northern Ireland. There were reports of police officers themselves being injured, and that has continued. Now, more than 40 uh, police officers from the Northern Ireland service have reported injuries themselves. The Northern Ireland Assembly politicians have been recalled to Parliament, called back early from their Easter break to discuss this. They're debating a motion over whether to condemn uh, this action from various groups within Northern Ireland. Boris Johnson himself has said he's very concerned about it. Uh, and a statement has been released by the executive uh, in Northern Ireland who have said they condemn the violence over recent days and they've called for calm to be restored on our streets and an end to violent protests. They say that destruction and violence are completely unjustifiable and unacceptable. Right, but what about dealing with the root cause of this violence, uh, which is the result of the growing frustration over the Brexit fallout? Uh, several people uh, in uh, the pro-British unionist community are angry about those new trade barriers between Northern Ireland and the rest of the United Kingdom. Uh, what is the reassurance from the government on that front? 
Well, the government, as you know, have always uh, said that the Brexit arrangements that were being put in place would cause no issues. There was this reluctance to put a firm barrier between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland on land. Instead, uh, that meant that checks were going to be put in place at ports so that goods coming into Northern Ireland would have checks there rather than a solid boundary being placed between those two parts of the island of Ireland. Uh, as you know, Boris Johnson has condemned this violence. The Northern Ireland secretary has flown to Northern Ireland today, though, to join talks. Uh, obviously, this is becoming a, an increasingly uh, tense situation because loyalist groups, people who want to remain part of the United Kingdom, feel like they've been betrayed. They feel cut off uh, from the United Kingdom. And that's not uh, what they're after. There is also tension uh, over a decision by the public prosecution service in Northern Ireland not to prosecute uh, people that attended a mass Republican funeral uh, earlier last year. Um, and that has led people to believe that there's sort of a two-tier system underway within Northern Ireland. Uh, and of course, those tensions have bubbled over. Police say that people as young as 12 children are involved in this violence. And there were reports last night that people gathering in crowds, those children were actually being uh, pushed on by adults. So there are huge calls for everybody to really uh, bring these levels of violence down and return to a sense uh, of peace. Laura, thanks very much for those updates. We'll, of course, keep coming back to you as and.